The story begins with Asahi, who is a pretty normal guy that lives a boring life. One day, he sees a fortune teller on television that reveals six random names. This fortune teller reveals that people born on October 8th are going to be impacted by these names. Asahi was born on October 8th, but he does not believe the fortune teller. Asahi runs to school, and on his way, he meets a girl. This girl drops something, and Asahi picks it up. It turns out those were her panties. In the rain, Asahi meets another girl. This girl sleeps nearby him, and by accident, Asahi grabs her breast. Asahi then runs away before the girl can kick his ass. Asahi has another embarrassing moment with a girl in the train station. After a while, he is finally near his school, but he has another strange encounter with a girl. Asahi is now totally confused as he keeps meeting attractive women the entire morning. Finally, after saving a student from a dog, Asahi reaches his classroom. He sits nearby his classmate Yoshio and the new teacher introduces herself. It seems that this teacher is the woman on the train who tried to kick Asahi. Also, the other girls he met through the morning are now his new classmates. We learn some of their names. Oi is the girl he ran into that dropped her panties. Karen is the one he met on the staircase. Amelia is a red-haired girl that attacked Asahi as well. He also realizes that the student who was being attacked by a dog is in his class. This student is called Ilya, and he is a transfer from Russia. The teacher is called Bai, and she is a new teacher in the school. Asahi is now totally embarrassed and hopes the girls do not recognize him. Later in the day, Asahi gives back to Elway her panties in an embarrassing moment. Asahi spends the entire day at school trying to clear the misunderstanding with the girls. At the end of the day, Asahi sees a message under his desk as Elway confessing her feelings for him. Asahi is still confused by the entire situation. At school, he meets Ilya, who also confesses to be in love with Asahi. Throughout the entire day, Asahi gets confessions from all the girls he has met the previous day. Asahi soon finds out that all five students who have admitted their feelings for him are actually candidates to be his future bride. It seems that Asa's father has invited all of them to live with him and to learn more about Asahi. Asahi has no choice and allows all of them to live with him. He feels bad leaving them without a place to stay, so they all live together now. Awkward situations start instantly. Asahi has a lewd moment with a girl in the bathroom. Life is getting pretty complicated for him. Asahi talks with Aoi and she seems very sweet and caring. She is one of the main reasons that Asahi allows the girls to stay with him. Asahi is now living with the girls and none of them allow them to have privacy. Every moment they enter his room and bother him. Aoi, on the other hand, is very careful and does not want to bother Asahi. Amelia tries to get used to living with so many girls. She demands that Asahi studies Kenji writing with her. In the meantime, Asahi notices that Aoi always prepares his favorite meal and is very kind. It seems that she is the only one with true feelings for him. Amelia and Asahi study at a library, and she gets very upset about her progress. When she returns home later, she is sad and alone in her room. Asahi decides to talk with her while all the girls spy on them. Amelia gets motivated and continues with her Kenji art. We learn that Elia is actually a girl. It seems that her father always wanted a son, so she was forced to pretend to be a boy. Nobody knows this, so her life is extra difficult. The girls win a prize vacation, and Asahi joins them. They go to a pretty old hotel and spend a few days there having fun. The girls also get to know each other much better. They even compare bus sizes. In the meantime, Asahi spends a day with Aaliyah. They have a few lewd moments in the bathhouse. It becomes obvious that Aaliyah is also a girl. Finally, Asahi and her talk about it. She admits her real name is Arena, and she wants to be like the other girls. Asahi motivates her to accept herself. The trip ends, and they all return home. Asahi continues going to school, but his life is now much crazier. His teacher Bae, who also lives with him, tries to seduce him every moment. At home, Bae gets drunk and once again tries to jump on Asahi. The other girls have to stop her. One day, Asahi gets kidnapped by some crazy criminals. It seems that they are using him as bait to attract Bae. Bae arrives to save Asahi and then it's revealed that she was a former spy. Bae is very powerful in combat and has many special skills. Asahi needs to help her escape from the criminals that are attacking them. Through their escape, Asahi also learns more about Bai and her past life as a crime fighter. One night, Asahi goes to the store. He then gets attacked by a massive robot. This robot is destroyed by a magical girl. The following day, Asahi tries to explain this to his friend, but he does not believe him. That same day, another robot arrives at the school and starts to attack the students. It revealed that Karen, one of the girls living with Asahi, is actually the magical girl. She gets her powers from being excited, so Asahi has to grab her boobs and seduce her. Curran manages to evolve her magic girl powers and defeat the giant robot army with the help of Asahi and his love. Asahi remembers walking on a beach with a girl when he was very young. He liked this girl but forgot about her. In the present, the whole gang decides to go on a beach date. They all have a lot of fun. At one point, the girls all decide to get naked and put a blindfold on Asahi so that he cannot see them. Asahi then gets pranked and tortured by the girls. Later that day, he talks with Aoi and he thinks she is familiar. 
It's then revealed that Ewa is that girl from his past. She admits to loving Asahi for a long time but does not reveal her true identity. She then runs away and it seems that Asahi is stuck in some sort of computer simulation. Asahi wakes up and everything seems to be normal. He gets ready for school and is greeted by his mother. Asahi leaves the apartment but he notices that all the girls are now totally gone. Asahi arrives at school and everything is strange. His friends seem to not recognize him. Some girls comment that he has been gone for a long time. Asahi now starts to panic and has no idea what is happening. Soon he is introduced to a scientist called Yoshino. She tries to explain the entire situation to Asahi. It seems that this entire time he has been living in a VR world. A long time ago he decided to be part of this experiment and after that he has been living in a simulation. Asahi is shocked to learn that all the girls including Aoi are just AI simulations. Asahi is also surprised because he cannot remember anything. Asahi is now furious as he cannot believe that everything was a lie. He starts to get angry at Yoshino and then leaves. It is later revealed that in the past Asahi had a friend he loved very much. She was his childhood loved and when she died he could not recover. That girl is why Aoi was created. Something strange is starting to happen all over the world. Every network is taken over by a rogue AI program. It is soon revealed that Aoi is behind this. It seems that her ad program has started to act on its own. Yashino is now scared and tries to get in contact with Asahi. Asahi does not want to speak with anyone. He spends his days with his mom at home. Soon Yoshino shows up at his house and tells him about Awa. She also shows him that the girls are still in their ad form and they need his help. Yoshino comes up with a plan. Asahi needs to go back into the simulation and stop Awa. Awa could be dangerous if she loses control totally. Asahi now shows up totally naked in the simulation. He is there with his best friend who is his AI guide. Soon he manages to find the girls. They all know that they are ad programs and they want help Asahi. Asahi and the girls go to a giant tower as that is where Aoi could be. They soon get attacked by soldiers who seem to appear out of thin air. These soldiers are very dangerous and Bai has to fight them. Bai reveals that Asahi made her realize that love is real and she is very grateful. Bai gets into a fight with a very powerful soldier that has robotic arms. Bai saves Asahi and dies in battle. Asahi is heartbroken that he has lost Bai forever. Karen has to use her magic girl powers to save Asahi and the other girls. At the same time Asahi gets injured and Arena saves him. They are now all searching for Aoi. In the real world things are not looking great. The AI programs have started to be totally out of control. Many systems all over the city are exploding and causing massive damage. In the simulation Asahi soon figures out that every girl is a part of Aoi. Every single one of them is part of their memories. Amelia sacrifices herself for Asahi. Asahi finally finds Aoi. They talk about their past. Oi was a totally normal girl she spent all her days with Asahi. One day she got a headache and it was revealed she is very sick. Asahi was heartbroken and Aoi only had a few months to live. They had a lot of fun and they created a lot of fond memories. In the present Aoi has to let go of her artificial world and Asahi promises to never forget her. He leaves the simulation and everything returns to normal. Some time passes and Asahi gets into university. When he arrives there he finds that all the girls are now his roommates. It seems that Ai has evolved and they could create their own bodies. Soon after Aoi also appears and she is excited to live with Asahi. Thank you so much for watching.